Good morning, friends. Miss Heather here. How are you this week? I've missed you all so much. Okay, we're going to get ready to sing our good morning song before I read a story to you. Good morning, friends. Good morning, friends. Good morning, friends. I'm glad you're watching today. Okay, now, do you remember here at Unitarian Church what kind of people we are? We are people of open minds, loving hearts, and helping hands. Good job. Okay, today I have a book by Kiyako Kaza, and it's called The Dog Who Cried Wolf. Mocha was a good dog. He and Michelle loved to be together. Life was perfect until one day she read a book about wolves. Look, Mocha, said Michelle, you're kind of like a wolf. Wow, thought Mocha. I am kind of like a wolf, but look how amazing wolves are. They run around free, hunt wild animals, and stay up late to howl at the moon. And look at the way I live, Mocha sighed. I'm nothing but a house pet. He felt like a failure, especially when Michelle made him dress up for her tea parties. He wanted to be a wolf. Fix my lighting. There we go. Make it a little brighter in here. Oh, look, he's dressed up at a tea party. He wants to be a wolf now. The next day. Mocha made up his mind. He snuck out of the house and took off for the mountains. He ran and ran and ran. He looks like he's running fast. Until finally he reached a high mountaintop. I'm free! He yelped, free as a wolf. He ran. He jumped. He danced and peed wherever he wanted. Wow, he exclaimed, the world is mine. Soon Mocha got hungry. No problem, he cried. I'll hunt for my food just like the wolves do. And off he went. Oh, I see a little bunny rabbit over there. But a rabbit outran him. And a skunk sprayed him. A beetle pinched him. And even a field mouse made fun of him. Oh, he looks kind of sad there. By nightfall, Mocha was miserable. He missed Michelle. I even miss her tea parties, he mumbled. But I can't give up yet. Just one more thing I have to try. I wonder what that will be. He gazed at the golden moon and howled as loudly as he could. How Just like a wolf. <laughs> Suddenly, something howled back. How How 
And then again. How? Wolves! He cried. Real wolves! <gasps> Look at all those wolves and they're all howling. Oh, look how fast he's running. He turned and raced down the mountains. I want to go home, he panted. I never want to be a wolf again. He ran and ran and ran, racing all the way down. Until finally he reached the house he knew so well. Mocha, Michelle shouted as she dashed out to meet him. And look, she must have really missed him. She put a missing sign up for him. She really missed her dog, Mocha. You're back! Aw, look at that big hug. Mocha was home again, and he and Michelle were so happy. Life was just perfect. Until one day... She read a book about monkeys. Oh, look, now she's reading him a story about monkeys. I wonder if he's going to think it'd be cool to be a monkey, too. Like he thought he wanted to be a wolf. Oh, look, it looks like she's being the monkey. Hanging from a chandelier and it got a banana in her hand. Oh, look at Mocha thinking. What is she thinking? This is a really good book. It makes me think that sometimes when you think you want to be like somebody else, that it's okay to actually be yourself. That it's okay to be you and just how awesome you are and be an individual. Well, I miss you guys so much. I really can't wait to see you. Have a great week. I can't wait to read another story. Bye.